over the last two or three years, I've watched every video, I've read every article, I've been on every forum that I can find about DIY sawmills, homemade sawmills. This is my version of the simplest user-friendly uh, sawmill that uh, can cut up to a 36 inch diameter log um, over 20 feet long. I'm out here in my favorite scrapyard again looking for the right steel to build my sawmill with. Before I go and buy brand new steel, I thought I'm going to look over here on all the all the different scrap piles that they have. Um, I can buy this stuff for about 15 cents a pound, but oftentimes it's bent and or it's not thick enough. So I'm going to rummage through this stuff and see what I can find.
part one of the uh, homemade uh, sawmill build. Um, I've got everything prepped and ready. I'm waiting for a few more parts to show up. Um, what I'm going to, I'm not going to cut the, uh, the excess off of the steel yet until I have my pillow blocks to um, determine exactly uh, how wide I want this to, to go. I want this to be able to cut a 36 inch diameter log. Um, I've got this all set up to be adjustable. Um, the, the only nestable tubing that I could, square tubing I could find that would work with inch and a half steel was the two inch and it was a little bit sloppy and so I put these uh, adjustable uh, bolts in them which I will set to um, to just gu uh, guide the, uh, the slides. Um, the most important aspect of this whole build is being true and square uh, with with the tower. Um, if if this is if you're not square here, naturally this is not going to slide properly, and then on top of that, you're not going to cut properly. But I'm also going to set my pillow blocks up to where they're adjustable, and where worst case scenario I can adjust this and make this work uh, with with what I have. Um, these are also extendable. I will have some all thread uh, installed to where I can I can put a, a pressure fitting on the the bandsaw blade. Um, this motor I picked up. This is an 11 horsepower motor. I picked up uh, for a hundred, about 100 bucks. Uh, it's a brand new motor. It's not the best motor for this application. It was off a generator, but I'm going to make it work. Um, the only concern I guess that I might have with this motor is that I may have to get a different carburetor to where I can adjust the uh, the speed of the blade. But uh, part two is going to focus on the track, the tracking system that I'm going to use with this um, to uh, to ensure that I can cut it at least a 20 foot log. Part three, I'm going to have a materials list of all of the stuff that I had to buy. Uh, like the pillow blocks, like the pulleys, where I found them, how I got the best price on them. And then I'm also going to have a video about truing up um, the pulleys to where this cuts properly. So this will be a three-part video um, and it should cover everything.